Hi, welcome to learnhowtogarden.com and in today's episode of the 10 Minute Gardener I'm going to be showing you what I refer to as overplanting of freesias. If you're not already subscribed to us at Learn How to Garden, there is a link directly below this film that will take you over there. Once you've popped in your email address, it means I can let you know every time I put up a new film, and you also get access to my monthly newsletter, where I cover relevant topics that are happening that month, and I also occasionally have a rant about things in horticulture that are annoying me. Impulse buys. They're wonderful things in horticulture, aren't they? This is my impulse buy today. I called into my uh, local shop and I noticed they had these freesia corms reduced to 99p for 25. And the thing about freesias that I adore is the scent. That's why they grow them, isn't it? You know, my gran used to have freesias, so it's the sort of childhood sort of memories coming back. And I couldn't resist them. But what I'm actually going to do with these freesias, because I don't know what colours they are, they come in multicolours. I've always wanted to grow pure white ones, but I've never been able to find just white corms or just white seed, is that the, for the first year I'll grow them in a pot so I can find out which are the white ones, which are yellow, which are sort of red. Um, and the reason for doing it in a pot is that when they're at the height of their sort of scent when they are looking absolutely stunning and smelling exquisite I can pop it near my back kitchen door or next to the path so that I can smell them when I come home. The one thing I will do is overplant these and I think with things that you're going to put in a pot for the first year overplanting isn't a bad thing because you get far far more impact and to be honest for 99p you know if I lose a couple it won't matter. I'm going to put them in this old terracotta pot as you can see it's a bit battered and bruised but I do love it to bits big hole in the bottom so you need a single piece of uh, terracotta to crock it and then I'm just going to use multi-purpose compost up to about here. Freesias need to go in about 8 to 10 centimetres but what I'm going to do with these is plant so many that instead of being 10 centimetres apart they're only going to be the width of my finger apart and I'm going to have to feed this quite well to make them grow um, well enough to flower this year and then I'm going to really have to feed it to get them to have enough energy to sort of bulk back up for the winter. And when they're flowering I'll put a tiny piece of string onto the actual stem of the white ones so I know what they are. And like a lot of corms they come bone dry. Most of them will come from Holland obviously. And if we focus in here you can see they're like sort of elongated acorns is the best way to think of them. Quite simple to tell which is top and bottom which is always nice when you're planting bulbs. Once we've got our pot to within 10 centimetres of the surface we just take our bulbs and a couple of centimetres apart start to go round in a circle and like I've already said this is over planting on a massive scale. And that's because the effect you want is of this absolute head of scent. And once you've done the first circle, in between, come in, do a second, and if you've got space, just a couple in the middle. And there's going to be 25 of these small cloves in this pot, so it really is going to be a spectacular display when it flowers. We just keep doing this until they're all in. So once we've done, take some riddled compost, just cover these freesias to within about a centimetre of the top of the pot, water it well in, keep it frost free. That's quite important with these freesias. Originally from South Africa, uh, they're not going to be too keen on the weather we get in England sort of in March, April, especially this sort of March and April, I suspect it's going to be one of the wettest and coldest on weather. On weather, on record. I mean how can weather be on weather? Done, dusted, really quick, really easy. Impulse buying of any bulbs is never a bad thing is it? Certainly ones that are going to be scented. Freezes in a pot. Thanks for watching. 